Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we generate QR code using Spring View. So to generate a QR code, we'll use this ZZ. So ZZ is Zebra Crossing Barcode Scanning Library for Java and Android. So QR code is used to store a large amount of data in a limited space. So how can how we'll see in this video how can we store our data in a QR code. So here is the directory structure of creating our Spring Boot application. So uh, while creating Spring, uh, Spring Boot application, we have to add this dependency that is Spring Web. At the creation letter, we will add the dependency regarding this Zing library. So firstly, we have to add Spring Web dependency. Then we have to add this dependency related to Zing that is the score zing dependency and also this java sc zing dependency so uh, if you search on browser zing dependency maven dependency you will get the latest one uh, so your form will look like this next thing is uh, here i have project i will show here so here next one is we have to create one controller so here we can see I have created one controller here rest controller uh, as we are giving we are gonna give test this application using postman so i have given here rest controller and request mapping as a qr the next one is here i have created one get mapping with this uh, path variable that is in the place in path variable we'll give some data to generate a qr code then it will pro uh, produce uh, what image so here i have given media type as the image the next one is as we are using here rest control so i have given here a response entity and here we will gonna refer uh, return a buffered image so here if i refer this so buffer image is a subclass describes an image with an accessible buffer of image data so buffer image is comprised of color model and raster of image data so you can see here about the buffered image next one is in order to uh, generate a qr we have to use this qr code writer and also this bit matrix we have to create one object of qr code writer then we have to call the method of qr code writer that is encode so it will encode a barcode using default setting we have to pass the parameters that is content format width and height so here i have passed the content then format we want qr code then what is the width and height and here we have to use matrix to image writer so it will write a bit matrix to the buffered image files or stream and it is provided here instead of core since it depends on the java sc library so to buffered image so as we can see here description as written here we have bit matrix and we want to convert it to or write it to buffered image that's why we have to use this matrix to image writer then we have to give here a bit matrix and at the end i am giving here http status as ok and also before running this application one more thing we have to give is uh, we have to manually add or register or a register a message converter for buffered image http response otherwise you will get a error so make sure that you should register a message converter for a buffered image as you can see i have here created now next thing is we have to run this application and test using the postman.
so if I go to the postman and here I am giving the data so let's suppose I have given only one data so I have given only one for one I have to generate a QR code here you can see QR code so if I do here I will add some text and if I hit this you can see that it is becoming denser if I give ABCD I will add some data here we go the data will be stored in this QR our data so if I add 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 the content like this and if I send here we go you can see how earlier we have given one then there was very little blocks but now as I given too much data you can see that how these blocks are increasing so this is a way we can generate a QR code using Spring Boot and we have taken here a help of this Jetzing library so if you want to practice this you can practice this I will give the link of this blog in the description so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel